When the earthquake hit, the banking system collapsed. So people started sending in cash. When people know that a lot of cash is coming in, a hijacking became a massive, massive problem. So a bunch of gasoline trucks got hijacked. That had an immediate impact on the ability of hospitals to operate. So we ended up kind of filling a bunch of square containers with gasoline, putting them in a bus under the level of the windows, and just kind of crossing our fingers and hoping they were going to make it. I was acutely aware of economics and well-being from a very young age. I want to build an economic tool that would have a massive, far-reaching, and deep impact on as many people as possible. Carbon seemed like the better vehicle for those efforts, a better vehicle for impact than just kind of getting a CS degree and just kind of participating in the general software engineering jobs fair that is um, Silicon Valley. Carbon is a solution to volatility. We want to make cryptocurrency into actual money. And there's a lot of people who just don't have any form of access to financial infrastructure. And what this results in is kind of cycles of poverty, right? Something that's absolutely necessary for crypto to move forward is higher throughput. Throughput is the amount of transactions per second that a ledger can process. The cost of moving around carbon is going to correlate to the throughput of the ledger. We have always viewed Hedera, given its security, as kind of the best solution for the throughput portion of the equation. Carbon is definitely a long-term solution. This won't have failed or succeeded probably in a, in a year even, because we're working on rebuilding just a lot of the globe's financial infrastructure. Like that's a, that's a pretty tall order. We want to see everyone everywhere have access to financial infrastructure that's superior to what Americans have today. I think that we're at the very start of something huge in just human history.